Today I'm going to show you a mid-journey alternative that's completely free and that provides pretty much the same quality as mid-journey does. Now for those of you who've been watching this space, you'll have seen that mid-journey stopped their free trial recently due to misuse of the platform. So now for those who've only used the free trial for mid-journey, you have to sign up for one of these plans which start at $8 a month. So if you're not looking to pay on a plan, there is an alternative. Blue Willow operates in pretty much the same way as mid-journey does. So if you join the free beta, it also operates via Discord server, exactly the same as what Midjourney does. And when you sign in, you'll see it's pretty much the same format and layout as what you're used to on Midjourney. So to get started, you have to go to one of the rookie channels on the left, one of these. Works in the same way, type imagine, then a space, and then your prompt. And you're able to upscale and access different versions via the U and V commands. So let's go to one of these rookie channels. Let's go to the second one. And if you scroll through, you look at the quality of these images and you can't really tell a discernible difference from what's been generated in mid-journey, to be honest. If I look at them side by side, I'm scrolling through Blue Willow right now. And if I open one of the mid-journey servers, there's no real difference, obviously depending on the prompts that you're using. But Blue Willow seems like a really viable alternative to what mid-journey serves up. So let's test it out and see what sort of quality we can get using similar prompts to what we use in Midjourney. Let's try and generate a few images from some prompts I've saved. And we can then find out what kind of quality we're looking at here. My first prompt is a portrait of a Caucasian man with clear facial features. Make it cinematic. 33mm lens. Put in the aperture at 1.8. Accent lighting. Global illumination. And uplight. Now, if you're doing prompts on Midjourney or a tool like Blue Willow, it's best to be as specific as possible. And for portrait images in particular, that means including the aperture, including things like the lens, including the lighting situation. There's some really good prompts you can find on places like Twitter and on Reddit threads. But again, the more specific you are, the more detailed and quality image you'll get. But let's try this one. We've entered that prompt. And because the servers are busy, you'll notice how quickly things are running. It's best to click on your inbox up here and you'll find the image that is generated for you. So we'll see portrait of a Caucasian man, clear facial features, cinematic, etc. And it's generated this image. Let's jump to that. And as you can see, these are really realistic looking images. Let's try and upscale the fourth image. Check our inbox and see how long that takes. And there we go. Open it in our browser and look how detailed that is. The upscale version really shows you how much detail you can get in these types of images. One thing I've noticed, and I'm not entirely certain if this happens on Lead Journey as well, or if this is just a Blue Willow thing, but if you look closely at the eyes in all of these portrait images especially, you'll notice one is very different to the other. Now that might just be a stable diffusion thing across the board, or it might be specific to different platforms. Let me know if you've played around with stable diffusion for a little bit, and what your takeaways from that have been. And as usual, you can save the images to your drive if you choose to do that. All right, let's try a different prompt. And this is one I think I saw Matt Wolf use that he got from a Reddit thread. So penguins from below, side view, golden hour, and adding National Geographic and telephoto lens. So we can try and get those National Geographic type shots we always see in those documentaries. We'll open our inbox to see what that brings us. And look at that. Those are some great looking images. I like the one with the sunlight, especially in the background. So let's see if we can upscale that one. That's upscale 2. Let's also see if we can get a few different versions of that same one. So let's go V2 as well. Let's see what that gives us. Back to our inbox. This is the upscaled version. You can again see the detail in the browser. And if we check back for the different versions... Oh wow. Okay, it's doing a few weird things, I guess. You can see there's two heads on this one penguin. All in all, really good lighting and detail again. Let's try the same prompt, but using lions this time. And this is what is generated. We jump to that. Wow. These are some great images. I think I'll upscale 1, 2, and 4. So 1, 2, and 4. And that's pretty quick. Wow, I really do like the quality on these. You look at the upscaled version. Again, the eyes, not quite what you'd expect. So I think that might be where Stable Diffusion is still struggling as it does with fingers and hands, but I've no doubt that it'll be sorted out in the near future. Let's see how this handles landscape images now. Our prompt is a landscape photograph of snow-covered mountains behind a beautiful lake, 35mm lens, 
f22 aperture cinematic wide angle lens let's enter that and see what it gives us okay here's what it generated check these out again some stunning visuals let's see how this handles animation a very simple prompt pixar style kid playing the flute here's what it generated for the pixar prompt it looks like these two are more realistic than the others this one might be more what we're looking for so if we ask us to give it four more versions of version one and maybe version two as well let's check that out in the browser the eyes are still a little bit out of sync as we said but all in all hands much better color very good detail very good so i definitely think this is usable the way i found this tool was via matt wolf who runs a pretty great youtube channel you should really subscribe if you haven't already but he releases a video most days that detail the goings on with all different kinds of tools in the ai space he also runs this future tools website where you can find the different new AI tools depending on the category you're looking for. So for Blue Willow, for instance, it would most likely be under generative art. If you're looking for something free, you can choose that tick box. And what I also like to do is check Matt's picks, because he normally picks the best ones of the lot and showcases those. So if I scroll down, you'll see Blue Willow under one of these. And it's pretty great because he gives you a description of the app and a link to where you can find it. So that's Blue Willow. Let me know what you think. I'll place the link below in the description to the app and also put all the links to Matt's tools down in the description too. Highly recommend you follow his stuff. It remains to be seen whether a lot of people on their free accounts will migrate from Mer Journey to Blue Willow. I think if they get a little bit more publicity, it might happen. But also Mer Journey has become so popular over the last while. So I think there's also a good possibility of them keeping a large portion of their subscriber base and even having those in the free accounts upgrading their accounts to paid plans. I'm looking to test out more image generation tools down the line, but if we're using Midjourney as the standard, then I'd say Blue Willow makes a very good case for itself, just for the limited testing I've done at least. And since it's entirely free, I think we'll see a lot more uptake in its usage, especially with Midjourney not offering that free tier anymore. Let me know your comments down below, especially if you're on the free plan on Midjourney. Would you choose to use Blue Willow instead, or are you thinking of upgrading a Midjourney account to a paid plan? For me, the difference is really negligible right now, I'm not an image heavy user in my day to day, so even a slight drop in quality from the journey to Blue Willow would be okay. I think these images are still perfectly usable. Let me know what you think. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.